godfather of artificial intelligence has quit his job at Google. Microsoft, Apple, Amazon and Meta. They're fighting to dominate. We will see increasingly those effects over the next coming of years. You've probably scrolled through your social media feeds lately, like Facebook, Instagram, or X, and noticed that the new trend this year is artificial intelligence. But why all the buzz? Hasn't it already peaked? Well, the answer is clearly no, because in 2024, this huge and growing industry wants to give us more than ever before. More realism, tools, and human-like traits for computers? Do you want to know more? Stay tuned. We've had some amazing years for artificial intelligence, but honestly, we're just scratching the surface of what this powerful technology can do. What's really exciting is how extremely quick things are evolving now. Stuff that used to take decades to develop now happens in less than a year, like GPT-4, DeepMind, Anthropic competing with OpenAI, and Microsoft rolling out Copilot for Windows. It's been a whirlwind of activity lately, and that leaves us with one big question. What's next? Basically, in 2024, AI is going to change a lot of things. It'll touch everything from robots to phones, from making things easier to helping customers better. The way we use technology is getting a major upgrade, with smarter, more personalized solutions becoming the norm. Even though it might already be old news by the time this video is uploaded on YouTube, here are the most noteworthy surprises that this new year will bring us. We all know that OpenAI, the folks behind ChatGPT, is way ahead of the game compared to other companies out there. But at the start of this year, they surprised us all over again with their latest creation, Sora. This new AI is going to be your new go-to for making videos. Just like ChatGPT generates text and Midjourney generates images from text, what Sora does is generate videos based on our textual commands. In other words, it takes prompts that explain what we want to generate. Its operation is very similar to the models that create images from text, which in turn is based partly on language model technology like GPT. This system can understand what you're asking for in natural language, as it has been trained to understand how we typically speak and express ourselves when requesting or asking for something. Once it knows what you're after, Sora can make videos that show exactly what you asked for. It's a big leap forward from just making pictures. And yes, you might have heard of AI-generated videos before, so it might not sound all that groundbreaking. The thing is, it's still pretty easy to tell when a video has been made with AI. Just take a look at this. Looks awful, doesn't it? Now, compare that to this sneak peek of what Sora is capable of. Absolutely mind-blowing. And that's just after a year of progress. But how on earth is this level of quality possible? Well, it's all thanks to Sora being trained on a huge library of videos. It knows how to recognize movements, descriptions, and pretty much anything you ask for, then bring it to life in video form. Mention different types of people, clothes, accessories, or visual effects, and it'll get it. So, Sora can whip up complicated scenes with lots of characters, and you can even tell it how you want them to move. You can also describe the setting, and Sora will understand and make it happen, just like in the real world. While the stuff Sora turns out is amazing, there's still plenty of fine-tuning left to do. Right now, this AI model is still in its early stages, pumping out videos that max out at 60 seconds. Plus, it might stumble a bit trying to nail down some of the laws of physics. That's why for now, only the pros and OpenAI staff get to play around with the video generator. When will it become available for the rest of us mortals? Well, OpenAI assures that Sora will eventually be added to the company's product lineup, but they haven't provided a release date yet. 
All we have to do is to sit tight and wait patiently. And speaking of OpenAI, it looks like they've been pretty busy lately. And it's not just with Sora, or making moves with Sam Altman in and out. Because GPT-5 is almost here. That's right, OpenAI is getting ready to launch their new AI model around mid-year. They haven't spilled too much about it yet, but some info seems to be leaking out. GPT-5, I know we have a lot of other, will release over in the coming months. According to a Business Insider article, GPT-5 is in the works, though it's not quite ready for the public just yet. The company still has some tasks to wrap up before it's ready to roll, but that might be sooner than you think. For those of you who don't know yet, GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. What can GPT-5 do? We do know that some business clients have received samples of GPT-5, along with a better version of ChatGPT based on it, for evaluation purposes. Meanwhile, OpenAI continues to train the model. It's believed that this new version will be able to address many of the shortcomings of GPT-4. Remember, GPT-4 has had some problems with performance and giving good answers. Some users even say it's gotten a bit dumber lately. And it comes up with a lot of wild, illogical responses. Not something you would expect at this stage. Still, if we go by the hype and the multi-model innovations that GPT-4 brought us last year, it's reason enough for our expectations to be sky high with this new release. All right, so we've got text and image generation, and now we're starting to see video. But what's missing? Music, of course. And guess what? Adobe has got us covered on that front. They've got Project Music Gen AI Control in the works that can whip up audio clips with just a bit of text input. You tell it what you need, like happy beat, smooth jazz, or chill vibe, and the AI does the rest. But that's not all. The model can also adjust the audio based on a reference clip, extending its duration if needed. Sure, sometimes the AI's result might not be exactly what we're after, so this tool lets us tweak the sound. We can turn the generated audio into a reference clip, adjust the tempo, structure, add repeating patterns, crank up or dial down the intensity, or just make a loop. It's still in the works, but it's only a matter of time before we see it appear in familiar Adobe tools like Premiere or Audition. In the meantime, it wouldn't hurt to brush up on some music production skills to craft those prompts just right, don't you think? Now let's step into some truly futuristic scenes. Or should we say, present scenes? Because robots are no longer just the future. They are here now. Meet Amica, from the UK-based company Engineered Arts, unveiled at the Mobile World Congress. This masterpiece of robotics promises to revolutionize the customer service arena, if not humanity as a whole. At least, not yet. With a design reminiscent of Will Smith's movie, I, Robot, Amica boasts remarkable analysis and natural conversation abilities. Can you wave your hands? Of course. It can analyze its audience, interact with them, engage in conversation, and pass off as a human seamlessly, and even communicate physically like a human. It knows how we're used to struggling with screens at customer service points, or hoping to talk to staff to solve our problems, if they can even help. But Amica could change all that. And that's exactly what Engineered Arts, the brains behind it, is aiming for. The robot is equipped with a visual recognition system that identifies individuals based on how they look and what they're wearing, has microphones to hear voices, and can move around just like a person. All of this connects to the cloud through something called Tritium, which uses language models like GPT-3.5 and GPT-4 to help Amica talk to us. Imagine asking a robot about nearby tourist spots or the best movie theater to catch a film. And it can even sell us tickets right then and there. All of this is possible with robots like Amica, and it's already happening.
Finally, I've got some good news for Apple fans. As we know, Apple has been lagging behind in the AI game. But with the arrival of iOS 18 this year, that could change. It's supposed to be one of Apple's biggest updates yet, and having artificial intelligence built right into it could be a game changer, if they can pull it off as well as their rivals. And that's where the key comes in, their competitors. Turns out Apple is in talks with Google and OpenAI to integrate AI into their operating system. They're running out of time to develop their own tech for iOS 18. In terms of yep. putting Google search, making it very paramount on the iPhone, this is, let's take it to the next step. Let's take this relationship further. So they're teaming up with one of their rivals to make sure they deliver a product that shakes up the market and puts AI in our pockets. For now, no one from Google, Apple, or OpenAI has said anything or let any rumors slip. All we know is that iOS 18 will have generative AI. How they're doing it and where they're getting it from? Well, that's still a mystery. But AI is definitely on the way. All of this may be just a small fraction of what they can offer us this year. We're just getting started. And there's a lot of time ahead of us and a lot of innovation to come. Let us know, which of these tools do you want to use? And which do you find really useful? Don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified about updates from the Artificial Intel channel. Thanks for watching.